Hello everybody, Floppy Hat Photos back here again for another Idiot's Guide to Marathon Training. And today is Tuesday the 13th, and today was a gorgeous day weather I'd be out running. Absolutely beautiful. A little bit warm on the long run when I got out kind of out there and there wasn't much wind and stuff. Had a little wind block, it kind of got a little warm. The sun had a little bit of power, but it was not unbearable. It really wasn't too bad at all. Took off, I had a 16 mile run today. I was thinking about putting it off and running it. In a tumble with Saturday with my buddy, and I was going to do the seven miler today instead to kind of just flop those around a little bit. And then found out I couldn't go up there and run with him on Saturday anyway, so I figured I'd say to hell with it and go ahead and knock it out. Part of it when I woke up, I was just feeling just dead. I was feeling like I my legs weighed a thousand pounds a piece. My body was just kind of just real slow in the uptake. I haven't been sleeping real good. I got a little bit of stress and information going. My father's dying of cancer and that. They've given him about six months to live, so I got a lot of that crap going on for uh, um, just weighing on you, just kind of, I don't know, different little things in your head so you don't sleep well and all that good stuff. So doing what I can with that, but went ahead and said to heck with it since I wasn't going to be able to run with my buddy on Saturday. Went ahead and just sucked it up and headed out on the road for the um, whole concept of just getting it in. Got to go put it in, might as well go do it. So headed out, I got about a little over 12, and I think about 12 and a quarter miles, something like that in it. No, 11 and three quarter miles about where I was and my watch died on me. So it usually it warns me, it says I have, you know, a low battery, 20% left, all that kind of junk, and then I'll go charge it back up. The thing never warned me at all. It said low battery, beeped at me once, I hit the little button, and then about, I'd say another 100 yards later, it beeped at me again, I hit the button, and then within the quarter mile, it was dead. So I went ahead and just kind of ran on back home with the pace. I, I got pretty good idea of what my pacing is and stuff anymore. Ran back by the house, plugged it in real quick, had it on the charger, probably about 10 minutes was enough to get it charged enough to finish my run out. So I went ahead and did that. Um, I also refilled my hydro pack. I drank a Gatorade also in the process while I was sitting here waiting that 10 minutes. Just kind of figured I'd go ahead and put a little extra electrolytes and stuff like that in my body to go ahead. Since I'm sitting around here waiting anyway, I might as well do something useful with it. So I did have a granola bar and a um, a gel pack, a Goo um, brand energy gel pack, the peanut butter flavor. I love those things. I'm having really good luck with those. Um, I've got my watch set up right now. It does a timer every 45 minutes to eat something, and I'm going to reset it to an hour. My buddy set it at 45 minutes, and that's fine for a race, but out here I'm not running that hard. I'm not working as hard as we'll be during a race. I'm going to rule it back to the hour mark. So the what I've been doing is it beeps at me at 45 minutes. I ignore it. About 15 minutes later, I look at the watch, realize it's been 15 minutes went by, eat something, and then I just wait till hour two and hour three and that kind of thing. So definitely one of those deals that you just kind of have to just figure out where you're at on it. So it works out good. Um, not really much else I can say in the run. Everything went really well. My foot was bugging me quite a bit. Two nights ago, I was out running, and I had my Vibram five fingers on, those little toe shoes. And I was running along in the dark, so I had my headlamp on and that, but I missed a... It was about the size of a golf ball rock that landed right on the side of my foot. It twisted my foot around crazy. I, it hurt so bad. I jumped. I screamed like a little girl. And I hopped around and stuff. Man, it hurt like hell. And I went ahead and finished my run, but it's getting much worse. And right now, it's a couple hours after my run. My right, my left foot is what it is. It's just like it's on fire. It hurts so bad. 16 miles and that was definitely not a good idea. But I did do it in my Brooks. They're a great shoe. I love the shoe. But my foot's just tender from that rock. So... We'll have to see how that turns out and how it all works out. I'm going to do a little more bike riding. I'm going to keep doing my run a day every day. But I'm going to start cutting that back to just the one mile or close to. As opposed to some days I'm doing like four or five miles just because I feel like doing it. I need to cut myself out of that crap. Maybe do a little more time on the bike. Give my feet themselves a little more of a rest and my joints a little more of a rest there. So that's all I know for right now. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Actually, it's the day after, but... Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to leave them below. I'll happy to try and answer anything I can. If you want to start up a little running group, like I'm thinking about starting up, let me know if you're anywhere near the area. Or if you're in like Guam, it don't matter. We can still check up on each other through email and that kind of stuff. So have yourself a great day. Get out there, lace your shoes up, hit the door, and get your run on.